Max, as you know, Tyson Fury, fascinating character, comes from generations of fighters in his family tree. He's a great soundbite. He's got heart. We saw him get off the canvas twice against Wilder in December. Give us a thumbnail on who this guy is in the ring. Well, he's also six foot nine. He's a big, strong guy. But even though he's named Tyson after Mike Tyson and grew up watching, you know, tape of Tyson, he also grew up watching and studying Muhammad Ali. And his style is much closer to an Ali than a Tyson. He's a fleet-footed boxer. He can fight orthodox, meaning he leads with his left hand, which is how right-handed fighters fight in boxing, or southpaw, leading with his right hand. He can, he can, he's capable of coming forward. He's capable of punching. He's not a bad puncher, but that's not really his style. He's a hit and move, a hit and not get hit kind of guy. He can also get away with doing some things technically incorrectly because his height, like Ali, he can lean back and away from punches and make it work for him. He has a, a, a long amateur background, and as you mentioned, boxing in the roots of his family. So he does things automatically that other top fighters in the division, like Anthony Joshua, who was recently upset, and even maybe Deontay Wilder have to think about before they do. It's automatic for Tyson. He's a He's a problem, not always the most exciting style in the ring, but as was the case with Floyd Mayweather, he talks to such a good game outside the ring, people watch not wanting to see how he wins, but simply whether he can win. And so far, he can win. All right, big favorite in, in this fight against Schwartz. We just saw Andy Ruiz, as you mentioned, he pulled off a huge upset against Joshua. What chance do you get Schwartz here on Saturday night? Listen, this is heavyweight boxing, and Muhammad Ali, speaking of him, and I told this to Anthony Joshua the week before the Ruiz fight because Joshua was voicing the same concerns. Ali used to say, so many good fighters in the division. Just my luck to run into one on a night they decide to be great. Look, Schwartz is brought in to lose. He's brought in because he's viewed as the safest undefeated credible contender that can that you they can put Tyson Fury in with on the way to a hopeful rematch against Deontay Wilder which should happen in the first quarter of next year if if Tyson Fury wins this fight and Deontay Wilder wins a rematch against the much more formidable Luis King Kong Ortiz but you're talking about a guy Schwartz who has size who has underrated power who has solid boxing skills and a good amateur background and in heavyweight boxing, when a guy 250 pounds hits another guy, even if he's also 250, it's not like proportionally the same thing as a lightweight hitting a lightweight. Everyone in the heavyweight division is dangerous with one punch because of their size. Tyson Fury better be taking him seriously. The proverbial puncher's chance. You can see Tyson Fury go up against Tom Schwartz Saturday, 10 Eastern on ESPN+. Plus. Max Kellerman, good enough to stick around on Coast to Coast.